Welcome back, fishing friends, to another adventure. Hey, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to be hitting this little pond. I've done videos in the past where I've caught some nice pike in here and a couple big bass. So we're going to give it a shot. The first thing is I need you guys to pick one. We're going to throw the whopper plopper. But which one? We got two bone colors, the 110, a couple 75s, a 60, and a 90. So what do you think? You guys are wanting this bone? Bone colored 110? This guy right here? Hmm. That's an interesting pick. Let's see if I can get it unstuck here. All right, let's go for it. All right, guys, I got my usual setups. And hopefully, if I have time, we'll be able to even test out a beetle spin. I haven't done a beetle spin video since last year. Let me get this little spinner off. Boy, it is just humid out here. Super humid. All right. Yeah, it's a little cloudy. Big pike get in here, big pass get in here for when the river floods. River that's near here. Sorry about that, guys. Had to adjust the hack cam. All right. Well, let's bombs away and see what we can get. Ooh, there we go. Six foot ugly stick, 20 pound braid, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. What you guys didn't see was me cleaning up a lot of this algae. Had a big rake in here and I was raking it up from in front of the bank here. <laughs> yep, I brought a rake. fish here before many times and it's just easier if you have something like that to clear a lot of this riffraff up oh that's perfect there's some good fish in here guys Right there, guys, right there. Not a very big fella. <laughs> the lure is almost as big as he is. Check it out. On the whopper plopper. All right. Where are my pliers? Oh, yeah, he got himself off. Good. All right, there we go. Nice little bass. Into the drink. All right, so there's one just right out there. He was hungry. When that hit the water, the whole bunch of fish just jumped over there. I had one swipe at it and he missed. Did you 
see that? Into the muck. That was pretty cool. These fish are hungry, guys. If they're went through the muck. Well, let's get a bunch of it while we can. I've had a lot of success with this bone color, guys. In this 110, 110 size, but even in the 75, that bone color has just been phenomenal. The other thing I want to do is throw the beetle spin out here. A little bit of cabbage here. seeing some boils and some swells over here. There's like a bunch of logs in here that lay out in the water. And I had that strike right in there and I hadn't, hadn't come back. Alright guys, still throwing this. I know on camera it seems like just a little bit, but it has been for a while. Oh, that breeze feels great. A few more casts and I'm going to switch over to the beetle spin. That side pretty good. Let's work this little section right here. This used to be all mowed and well kept in here and then I think the DNR wanted this just to be a, a good spot for a doe and fawn to, you know, place for deer. Did I pick up some cabbage? No. All right. What do I always say? Just one more cast. <laughs> All right, guys. One more. Or should I bomb it over here, over there, over there, over there? I see some boils. Ooh! It's a country mile! 
some of the other videos where I fished here, I'd get it right up along the shore there and it would just get smoked. But with all the algae and I've been bombing over there, just nothing. We'll do one more right up the alley there. My sweet spot. Right towards that tree. There we go. Got some cabbage here, but oh well. Oh, there we go. Right there, guys, you see that? up in my drag come on buddy don't come undone on me now all right oh what with three trebles he lets go about three feet out what about five feet out are you kidding me let me look at this the trebles are good guys the trebles are good. What was up? Line was tight. Ah, uh, felt like a pipe too. Ooh. Dang it all. Crying out loud. That's how it goes with fishing sometimes, you know, you just, you get some you don't. Man, that was a tough break. Okay guys, so I casted many more times with that one and I decided to switch to the 90, the loon color. This pond is a fa ooh, boy, something missed right there. Did you see that? This pond is affectionately known as the junk pond. Because of all the weeds and stuff and nobody likes to fish it. All the cabbage. We had a bite first cast on it. We had a somebody go after it. You just gotta have patience to deal with the cabbage. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> all right, let's get back in there. See this one on the 90, his little spinning is a lot more subtle. A lot more quiet.
throwing the 90 guys as you well know do I have a strike there oh he swiped at it and he didn't get it oh my gosh you've got to be kidding me that's twice in that same spot Oh, it's just so annoying. But, you know, that's what comes with it. Come on, get this train down. Oh my gosh, guys, you're so close. Dang it. I got hung up in some cabbage on the drop. <laughs> A whole bunch of bait fish got out of there. Now I'm all snared up. All right, guys, I got snagged out there and I lost the 90. All right, guys, so we're gonna throw the beetle spin out here. Look how much of this algae has moved. Crazy stuff. Just a typical little beetle spin using the the stock uh, oops cabbage cabbage everywhere just using the stock little plastic that comes with it I have caught some crappie in here before on it I want to use the little twister tail that comes with a little double twister tail. That works pretty good. I mean, it doesn't come with it, but that I've used with it before. Oh yeah, it's working its magic. Now if I can get some room in here to cast without this crazy algae so the jig head I'm using is like a little BMC moon eye dinky little jig what is it like 1 16th or something the one thing is I got to let this sink more before I start cranking it in I haven't used this since last summer oh yeah that looks good yep if the algae can co will cooperate Ooh, there we go all right little buddy sink sink guys switch to the bluegrass color here it's a double twister tail uh, the double twister from mr. twister
looks good in the water. If I can avoid the cabbage, we may be good to go here. Right, guys on the beetle spin we got something let's check it out oh it is a crappie a nice little crappie that's a good size little crappie all right if you never used a beetle spin guys go for it they're just so much fun and they catch fish too you know it's not like a, a lot of this stuff that you know it's hit or miss the one thing is I gotta let that sink a little more Just bring it in in. There we go. Oh, what? He let go. <laughs> oh, well, that's fishing for you. Just a subtle little bite, guys. <laughs> Check it out. That is a slick nickel crappie. with these ba pike and bass are eating. Look at this, it's just a little guy. There you go. Just a subtle bite. <laughs> All right, the key is just throwing it and having fun with it. That's the main thing with it. This would just be absolutely perfect if we didn't have this floating algae. No. Look at that, I hooked into a big patch of it. Get out of there. Yeah. Look at that guys, I made it out. <laughs> Dang, I'm still thinking about those those whiffs that I had. I'm blaming it on the fish. He had a couple of cracks at it on the surface and he just, it's like he missed, <laughs> he whiffed. All right, guys, I'm still throwing the Mr. Twister. I switched to the black color and st away from the bluegrass. This black color I've had a lot of success on. Look at all the bait fish going bananas out there. Holy cow. 
tell. See him out there? What in the heck? I don't think I can get this out that far. Nope. Oh, you know what that is? That's a like a whole bunch of, of uh, catfish or bullhead fry. It was like a huge cluster of them. Working through there, I could see a big black mass. And that's what they are, they're feeding in a group. I've had them come through here a couple times. Last year they would like move through here and close. But you can see them out there. It's just a big mass of them. Well, I guess you can't, but <laughs> you have to take my word for it. All right, guys, it's about time to wrap it up. Not much action today. I think because the barometric pressure is all wonky. We got storms coming in, but I did get a little bit of action. I'm upset that I lost the Whopper Plopper 90. <sighs> that loon color. What do they say? It's a cost of doing business. Yeah, but not for me. I don't want to lose them. <laughs> I'll come back out here. The other thing I want to do out here is test uh, slip bobber stuff out here with these crappie. Test a bunch of different crappie magnets. See how that goes. We know the beetle spin works. We know the crappie magnets work, but I want to test them out. I've used them somewhat. Usually when I use a trout magnet with that little craw, and that's where I've had so much success. I thought I felt a bump there. There's a good spot. See that algae just floats around. You can tell from since I've been recording here that it it does. That's why I brought the rake so I could clean out some of it. The thing is, I set foot on here on the bottom and I sunk down about four inches. So there's no waiting out there to try <laughs> to try to clean any of that out. And the thing is, this algae has been here since June, so I guess it's always here. 
maybe or may it doesn't really show up but all right one more good cast and then we're gonna call it there we go <laughs> look at that guy they're in a little side-by-side -side, you know, those little John Deere gator things all right guys I tell you what one more cast <laughs> Just letting her sink. What I was saying was, I'm telling you what, guys, it's about time for a sugar free diet root beer. Oh, dang. That cabbage. Boy, it is tough in here. The thing is, what I worry about if I was bobber, slip bobber fishing in here is having this stuff drift around on me. You know, I'd have to really be active, make sure it didn't, but I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. Ooh, check out this little snake right here. Eastern water snake. There's a rare one called the Graham's crayfish snake that comes around. It's got a stripe on him. Hadn't seen one of those. They're like an endangered rare species. Anyway, all right, guys. Till next time, I'll see you then. Have a good one out there. Bye-bye.